A tin foil hat is a hat made from one or more sheets of aluminium foil, or a piece of conventional headgear lined with foil, worn in the belief it shields the brain from threats such as electromagnetic fields, mind control, and mind reading. The notion of wearing homemade headgear for such protection has become a popular stereotype and by word for paranoia, persecutory delusions, and belief in pseudoscience and conspiracy theories. Foil hats have appeared in the film's Signs and Futurama, Into the Wild Green Yonder. Note that tin foil is a common misnomer for aluminum foil. Packaging metal foil was formerly made out of tin before it was replaced with aluminum. Origin the concept of a foil hat for protection against interference of the mind was mentioned in a science fiction short story by Julian Huxley, The Tissue Culture King, first published in 1927, in which the protagonist discovers that caps of metal foil can block the effects of telepathy. The use of foil headgear is often based on a belief that such hats prevent mind control by governments, spies, or paranormal beings that employ ESP or the microwave auditory effect. People in many countries who believe they are targeted individuals, subject to government spying or harassment, have developed websites, conference calls, and support meetings to discuss their concerns. A favorite topic is headgear and shields made of foil or other metal. Over time the term tinfoil hat has become associated with paranoia and conspiracy theories. Scientific basis equals electromagnetic radiation equals the notion that a metal foil hat can significantly reduce the intensity of incident radio frequency radiation on the wearer's brain has some scientific validity, as the effect of strong radio waves has been documented for quite some time. A well-constructed aluminum foil enclosure would approximate a Faraday cage, reducing the amount of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation passing through to the interior of the structure. A common high school physics demonstration involves placing an AM radio on aluminum foil, and then covering the radio with a metal bucket. This leads to a noticeable reduction in signal strength. The efficiency of such an enclosure in blocking such radiation depends on the thickness of the foil, as dictated by the skin depth, the distance the radiation can propagate in a particular non-ideal conductor. For half millimeter thick aluminum foil, Radiation above about 20 kHz would be partially blocked, although aluminum foil is not sold in this thickness, so numerous layers of foil would be required to achieve this effect. The effectiveness of the aluminum foil hat as electromagnetic shielding for stopping radio waves is greatly reduced by it not being a complete enclosure. Placing an AM radio under a metal bucket without a conductive layer underneath demonstrates the relative ineffectiveness of such a setup. Indeed, because the effect of an ungrounded Faraday cage is to partially reflect the incident radiation, a radio wave that is incident on the inner surface of the hat would be reflected and partially focused towards the user's brain. However the hat may be partially grounded by the conductive properties of the skin with which it contacts. A study by graduate students at MIT determined that an aluminum foil hat could attenuate incoming radiation depending on frequency. At WIFI frequencies a Euro 2.4 GHz is attenuated by up to 90 dB. The effect was observed to be roughly independent of the relative placement of the wearer and radiation source. At some microwave wavelengths, the skin depth is less than the thickness of even the thinnest foil. A belief also exists that aluminum foil is a protective measure against the effects of electromagnetic radiation. Despite some allegations that IMRA exposure has negative health consequences, at this time no link has been established between the radio frequency and that foil hats are meant to protect against, and subsequent ill health. In 1962, Alan H. Frey discovered that reception of the induced sounds by radio frequency electromagnetic signals heard as clicks and buzzes can be blocked by a patch of wire mesh placed above the temporal lobe. See also Electromagnetic radiation and health, Faraday cage, on the origin of the influencing machine in schizophrenia, tinfoil hat Linux, Velostat. References External links